If you are Hello, right everyone. Now, Welcome back to another episode of Thief. He wants us to get a talking skull. He's a creep. I guess what we'll do, do it. What do you say? Will you do it? Money? Wherever would a man of low morals auction an ill-gotten prophetic skull? I know just the place. The black market. Who would have thought that if somebody was trying to sell stolen goods, they'd sell it on the black market? Who would have thunk it? I wouldn't have. But then again, I'm an idiot, so... Let's see. What do we have on right now? Ah, so that is the one that's being tracked. Awesome. That's exactly what I want. We'll go get the skull, and then we'll go... Uh, find where the horrors live. Ooh, anything over here? Any secrets? Aha! Another plaque. That's always good. Now, what do we have here? Thank you, thank you. Got nine more. Well, Mr. Guard, don't look down here. Don't, don't come down here. Just, no, go back the other way. You don't want anything down here. Come on. Stop being difficult. Ah, uh, that's it. Just stop right there. Go away. Don't make me shoot you in the face with a water arrow, because I will. Got nothing for me to steal either. Ooh, there's something down there. I'll check that out later. I swear, if you turn around, I will punch you right in the face. You'll never guess what I saw in Tracy's attic yesterday. What were you doing up there? Playing a bit of How's Your Father with a Nightmaid. What? But listen, she is a Montanesi painting. I doubt it's real. She could buy her way out of the city a thousand times over if it was an original. Where did you say she lived? Yeah. Let's see, it'll probably be easier if I get back up on the rooftops, but I gotta wait for these guys to get out of the way. Oh, come on. Come on, hurry up. Was that guy bald before? I don't think he was. There he is. All right. Actually, let's go this way. Yep. What's in here? Did I already get what was in here? I think it'd be open if I did. Yeah, well, there's nothing in there regardless. Ooh. Safe to pick open. There's bound to be tons of loot in a dilapidated apartment with the safe, right? No oh, metal. A watch metal. No light. Probably should have done that when I was trying to pick the lock, but whatever. I don't see anything else up there. You know, this thing is in my way, so let's get rid of it. Nobody call the guard. It was an accident. All right. <coughs> Hello, lady. Don't scream. Thank you. Will Marlow got himself a pretty new shiny, fresh oh, from the shut boats. Up. Oh, what is it? Some kind of insect. Hmm? Oh, oh crap! Ow! Ah, screw it. I'm gonna get killed with one hit. All right, let's try that again. I don't see him right now. All right. Guards. Oh crap, there's one. But he's going the other way, that's good. Come back to my map. Hmm. I think I need to go through this house to get to the other street. Open, says me. Come on. Alright, go over to the other side. Wish I could put out the light. It's a daisy. 
is more like a street than a rooftop. Ah, here we go. Coming in. Whoever's in there, you better be decent. Be decent. That made a lot of sense. Yeah. Not even a house. Make the cross? I don't think so. Make it down though. Don't want to go in the house, window, whatever. I want to go in here. Or I don't want to go in here. No, got me over here at least. No, no, there we go. Oh, is this where that guard was? Oh, yep, it is. Okay, let's not go that way. All right. Should be a way over. Over here, maybe? Ah, here we are. Happy medium. Let's go get that skull. Oh, yes, I know that little tip. I know that very well. Come on, then. Let's see it. Say what now? The oracle, you drunk bastard. Oh. Well, I didn't bring it with me, did I? Benny? Man should never do his business in the... No, uh, the hands he eats with. What? It's stashed away, nice and safe. Oh, it's two grave holes. I'll give you till the clock tower strikes to bring it here. Otherwise, find another mug to pawn your hey, stuff onto. No need to kick up a fog about it. I'll be on my way. Lenny, oh, not the man. first time I've stolen from the master drunk. I'll make it another for the road. How's a man to open a door when the handle keeps moving around? I uh, don't think the handle's actually moving around. Well, Lenny, I need you to hurry up, so... Is anyone listening? I need a flame. Must be one of these new finagle uh, machines. Who's that? A moving Lovely door straight. The city's gone sour. Come on. Ooh, Come on, Lenny. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? Boys! It's me! God. Oh, Joy. Old Lenny's come for me. <laughs> the old crew back together again. Rocks, Teats, how long's it been? About three hours, by my reckoning, Lenny. But... Huh. Time just slips through your fingers, don't it? Uh, yes, it does. Let's drink. To old acquaintances, or right till the bottles run dry. Frickin' pipes out. Anyone got a match? Uh, this tastes quite peculiar. <laughs> Is it vintage? Nope. It's the one you pissed in last time you were here. <laughs> um. I need a light, boys. Yeah. Give me another swig to wash down the last one. You know what, Lenny? I need you to continue on. Um. Is anyone listening? I need a <laughs> What's going on? Gotcha, flame. Friggin' pipes on fire. I wanted a flame, not the apocalypse. It must have been that pickled idiot. Red Teddy herself would ride the other frig away if she saw him coming. But you boys seem kind of busy, got no time for old Lenny. What? I'll just be on my way. Lenny, you're lucky you have me around. Hello. <coughs> I never saw a drunk man with the bloom. Me, I never had anything except for black toes. Ah. Doc, I says, put your knife away. I don't stick any worse than normal. Oh, what do we <laughs> Sure enough, here? they came off by themselves. Didn't cost to penny. Come on. Let's go, Lenny. Oh, sir, I'm all cold and lonely with this lockdown. And oh, it's you. <laughs> Rosie, Rosie, won't you let down your hosey? What? Bree. Piss off, Lenny. What do you say, Rosie? Wanna go around? Not even if his royal topness himself made it law. I can't pay right now, but put it on the tab. 
You know I'm good. I don't think it works like that. Sticking eel down your pants. They're not choosy. <laughs> ah, who's that next to you? Your sister? We could all get introduced. Get off, will you, Lenny? You're scaring away my real customers. Well, come on. How's about it? I think she's untalking well, to you, Lenny. Where'd she go? <coughs> Rosie! If you wanted me to go, you could have just kicked me in the hammers like you usually do. My <coughs> silks are covered in shit! Lenny! Lenny! Some girls would charge extra for what I'm going to do to you when I get out of this mess! Kinky, I guess. Lenny? If someone's licked the frogging <laughs> gate. Licked it? Locked the frigging gate. What? Maybe I lock the friggin' gate. Well, then get your key out. <clears throat> well, I can't climb it. Not in these shoes. Might tear my hammer pouch. It's already itching worse than a thistle egg rash. I think I'll sit out here for a spell. Just, uh, sit down, Lenny. Come on. Take a seat. I'll take care of this for you. That's not sitting, but okay. That's a cheap lock. Very cheap. Clear bells and all's well. Well, the captain, sir. That's the door jam. You might want to go around it. There you go. Damn drunk. Hey! It's me, Lenny! Open up, will you? Okay, get to there. Keep your friggin' voice down. You want every snitch and lifter to know we're here? Let them try to get past old Lenny. If they can step over your drunk bag of bones, I think they'll manage. Stopping okay. arrows is all you're good for. That's not very supportive, is it? Out of my way. I'm on busyness. Most important. Uh huh. Busyness, huh? Go on, Lenny. The night I've had, I need a drink. Shadowing Lenny is a job in itself. Yeah. But he finally led me back to his gang. Oh. There's a hole in the floor, apparently. Good to know. Hello. Are you gonna be trouble? Lenny, you better have found a buyer for the crack that you keep coming back with, or you'll be going swimming with it. But I can't swim. That's the whole point, you idiot. All those boats caught up in the lockdown, and you live from the circus wreck. Who's gonna buy that shit? Reminds me of your grand idea when you broke into the taxidermist place. Did I ever tell you when I was a god at Duke Thornburns? Fat old bastard collected stuffed bears. Got surprised by one once. Took a stab at him. Lenny, the merchandise. What's your plan? Ah, uh, yeah. Made a deal for the skull with Robbie Pox down at Stripler's. I'd be glad to see it gone. Creepy thing, skulls. You ever think about how we're all got one under our faces? Wow. Trickster, help me, Lenny, your one dumb shovel. How much? How much what? Coin, Lenny. Coin. Oh, you need to borrow some change. Thing is, Bernie, this isn't going anywhere. Short right now, you see, and blurry on a midwheel. How much coin did Robbie Pox offer you for oh, the friggin' skull? Ah, good coin, good coin. Tested it with my own teeth. teeth? Bit down on a gold piece once, but right through. Thing was made. So help me, Lenny. I swear, I'm going to bury you in a ditch and dance on it with your mother if you don't pay attention. Hey, don't talk about my mother that way. I was a favorite. Kill me now if there's more of you. Good old mum. She could drink all the men in the village under the table. Explains a lot. Yeah, I come from a big family. Lots of us. Six boys. Mum was a tower of back then. Breastfed every one of us. Uh. Uh, we all do. Under the family. <laughs> Had enough of this? Can 
finish your drink, and then go spit and shake on this deal. Hope you're ready to go soon enough. It was a walk and a half to get here, I can tell you. Yes, yes it was. It was such a walk that we'll have to finish this little heist. Hello. In the next episode.